Now going straight into it. Yeah. Tanky's not like super impatient, generally speaking, but he can. I don't. He's not a, an approaching specialist. Yeah. Although these fairs have been good so far. Um, Hylian, I feel like he let up too much space straight away there. He managed to get center stage from that platform, and then instead of like trying to pressure the back of Mars shield, which is really safe and you know quite valuable, he just retreated to the other side of the stage. But you know he's probably just trying to get some. Uh, Give himself some breathing room to get back, you know, sort of warm up, get in there. Yeah, definitely a lot of spacing going on in the matchup, so he's just trying to, rather than contest that, just wants to make sure he's not getting yeah. hit with these pokes, just trying to play the percent leaves on them. He's approaching onto the platform, which seems really weird to me. Like, I, I don't know why Samus would jump at all. Yeah, the first spaces and stuff, definitely not. Um, I have seen uh, Duck was using a lot of full hop aerials recently to contest sort of vertical movement as opposed to uh, contesting right. it from the ground. Yeah, I mean, I can picture it being good against Marth in some senses if you do like a rising aerial to call out. Yeah, that a, a lot of rising there as we saying. Yeah, level. because if, a lot of the time Marth will try and do a falling fair or something, and if you call out the fact that they're not going to be doing a rising fair with your own there, it can be really good. But he's not done that so far. He's often been like sort of jumping onto the platforms, which is a really vulnerable spot against Marth. It's very hard to get down from there, so I don't like that. But he's now playing a bit more grounded, and he's sort of camping, which is good. He's not like over approaching. Yeah, he's playing nice and patient right now. Ah, uh, that was not just as I say, patient. <laughs> yeah, he kind of dash attacks into the corner. Oh, his life. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a very very scary bomb jump that he got out of there. All right. Tanky is an F smasher. He does it a lot. Okay, that was a nice down smash. Won't kill quite. I was a little surprised. Oh, by the that. super wave dash. Okay, yeah. Bit cheeky. Gets him to stop, so I like it. Allows him to also charge the charge shot rather than moving across the stage. So yeah, that's, that's true. probably the best thing to do in that situation. Yeah, it was Fire actually up. really good. <laughs> uh, he didn't get managed to get his missile out. That was a bit un unexpected. I think he was counting on the missile coming out and then the dash attack shield poking. Yeah, he's dash attacking a lot. But Tanky is being really good about when he shields in the corner. He's sort of reading the approach he's coming in. Because often I feel like a lot of characters sort of anticipate just a Marth dash back and not a dash back shield. Yeah. Which is actually really good against a lot of like common anti dash back options. Like uh, drill from Fox and then also dash attacks. And of course, Samus with the tether isn't able to dash grab into the corner as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting juggled a lot, but I mean, Tanky's down. I didn't actually see how it happened. Okay, well, that was a nice he solid F smash. He, yeah, I do think that Hylian Reaper needs to avoid going to the uh, side platform so much. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. okay, cheeky, but was it worth it? Yeah, it's fine. He, had to, he didn't get it punished immediately after that, so I don't think that was a mistake. Interesting that Hylian's using a lot of unusual movement options to try and trick Tanky out. So yeah, to contest his movement on the ground game, you see him jumping yeah, around, that, throwing that was a bombs. Much better than that. He managed to get the neg in, which he missed earlier. Uh, Tanky overall, has, he's been like quite decent at like putting out the you know basic safe spacing aerials, and he's had like overall fairly decent defense. It's just that uh, sometimes Honey and Reaper's doing some quite weird options. And his punishes have generally been like alright against Marth. Seems like Hylian is just trying to go for a lot of weird approaches, um, try and trick out with overshoots and such rather than just uh, sit back. And, uh, knowing that Campy's a tanky Marth, he's just trying to read dash bags and such. Yeah, it's fair enough. I would, personally, if I was Hylian, I would abuse missiles, missiles so man. much. Especially when he has a lead, which he did have earlier. Yeah. He's Tanky's getting, him. he's just been shielding so many things. He's had really good reads on yeah, uh, offensive openings from Hylian. But, uh, Tanky misses his ledge dash, I think, so. Alright, going to FD, this is a good pick. I, I don't know, 
it might actually serve to high end's advantage in that he'll stop going to the... Yeah. He has no platforms to hang himself on. <laughs> well, the lack of side platforms usually hurts Samus with her be out shield, things like that. The fact that he's using side platforms in neutral, which probably is a bad thing, just means that this stage sort of forces him out of that bad habit. Yeah. It might make him play a bit more grounded and hopefully he's able to make that work. Yeah, but he's got fewer escape paths, like there, whereas on the battlefield he might have been able to land with a platform, he was forced to basically be sent off stage, so that was probably not very good for him. Tanky, Tanky doing some really uh, bad <laughs> full jumps and stuff. I don't think there's much point in full jumping as Marth against Samus, unless the missile camp is like fully out. Definitely. Especially that Hylian's been playing such an aerial style. Cool yeah, it's, it's quite risky. Passing to be heard. Oh, that was a very lucky forward. Run. Okay, oh, bad roll. That was obviously a way death bag. That's a nice up air. Yeah, basically right now, if I was Hylian, I'd try and retreat to the... Yeah, I don't know why he's hanging out there. I would mix up towards the ledge. Yeah, just the corner and also Yeah, he wants to head over to the right hand stage in that kind of situation. So he has a mix up of coming and just landing on stage or going to the ledge. Because that where he was, Taki didn't have as much to cover. Uh, he didn't do the you know, the old classic jab, crouch, jab, crouch, jab, crouch pressure that Savas normally do. So Taki managed to get a free shield grab. But Thank you, Mining's up the evening of the game. Yeah. Ooh, that was a very spooky yeah. grab. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's definitely a read on the Tekken play, so... Yeah, it, is, it works for covering Tekken place and Tekken away, but he missed the timing. So. Yeah, good F-tilt to clank with dash attack. Yeah, he's holding his ground a bit more. He's playing a slight bit more defensive. He's sort of forcing... Well, Tanky's occasionally doing a, a, you know, offensive options like dash attacks and so on. And uh, if he just sort of camps with his own like grounded moves, it's quite good. Yeah. I think it's just good mix-ups by Tanky, mixing up the dash back movement and also the offensive options, stop him from being able to stuff him up too easily. Keep yeah. him guessing. Ooh, that was the strangest punish I've seen in ages. That was like a full all the way behind the rever like reverse fair F spice. That was pretty crazy. Super uh, super wave dash dash back there from Highly and really good movement option. Try and check Tanky out. Managed to get him on him. Yeah. Okay. He needs to. Yeah. Okay. He gave him enough respect at the ledge, although he, it looked like he wasn't going to initially. Now I just like to see uh, Highly and when he does have the lead, try and sit back a bit more and use that fact. He didn't yeah. need to be approaching. Just try and control stage with his own movement. Yeah. He got. I think he was probably going to try and do a crash cancel down smash to that tip of there, but he uh, was just too slow. Tanky just instant grabbed, which is honestly a pretty respectable option. I'd like to send a bit more of a delay between the missile and the charge shot to try and bait a wave dash out shield or something from Tanky. Yeah, he's not really uh, baiting it, he's just going straight away for the option. Yeah, going straight for the pressure, but he was just out shield throughout. Able to oh, they, <laughs> I like the idea, but you know, he didn't he didn't quite charge it off enough. Yeah. Okay. Tanky playing pretty patient. That was a nice down tilt. Um, Samus can still easily recover from here, but yeah, okay. He to did to he place. did a good uh, tether like height. Tanky getting a bit angsty to close the spot. It's a bit of Marth where it's not able to kill him with these up airs. Nice yeah, that was a finish. good full jump to get him around the missile. That was better than some of the full jumps he was doing earlier. Which, uh, he, tried, oh. he tried to go for the cheesy uh, runoff there again. But Had his back turned so no turn option to bring him back. Yeah. You'd have to do like a reverse missile. Actually, I guess... No, you can't do it with... Uh, you can't do the charge shot, can you? No, I don't think he would have time because he's really low as well anyway. Yeah. It's, I forget that Samus sucks. I yeah, can't, like no aerial charge. Uh, he did, should have probably um, let you hop there. That would have been a pretty good way of sealing out the start. Tylian trapping himself in the corner there, gave up yeah. the entire stage and then shielded in the corner rather than trying to contest. Yeah, I mean, he tried to jump out and tanky read it with an F smash. Yeah.
Tanky playing, well, I was going to say he was playing patient, but, you know, he goes for a kind of wild option and it works. But. I think given his percent and the fact that he has a lead, he's just hoping to try and choose out an early kill rather than have to grind Samus up to 108%. Yeah. Again. By understand. the way, Mars, please stop down smashing. It's not cool. If you just miss it, does it. <laughs> it just misses every time. I've never seen a tip of down smash from a UK mark. No, stop no. trying. Okay. Tanky winning on this counter pick. I feel like he played pretty well to Hylian today's style. He managed to basically keep in corner quite a lot that game. Without the platforms, I think that really benefited Tanky's game plan. Here, uh, yeah, this should, this would, well, I was going to guess would be the counter pick. Goes for two jab down smashes in a row, both hit. And this is the F tilt. Uh, F tilt again. He's playing nice and uh, patient so far. Yeah, Hylian's won every single neutral situation. Yes, this is. Lots of pressure Ooh, keeping okay. him on the ledge the entire game. Yeah, and that was the start. Yeah, that was very solid. Uh, Tanky didn't quite sweet spot the ledge. It is quite hard as Mark, but the eagle left till the ground is uh, up the. I really like to see Hylian using his lead here and just playing a bit more conservative. Uh, that's not as handy on this stage as it is on some of the others. Because uh, up these, well, the top platform of uh, Fountain is quite low, so it's quite easy to chase up the if he just does it from the ground. Thank you with a fairly decent F smash, but he overcommits. His like, spacing into the corner was too far. Hylian's been a bit lazy from the ledge, I have to say. Like, Samus has some, like, not invincible, but quite close to invincible options. Like, um, as far as I know, if you do, um, you know, the aerial interrupt, yeah, really I think that has, like, one frame of vulnerability in it, which is a lot better than going through some of these options, which are just getting, like, pulled out every time. Even just throwing it in once or twice so that Tanker has to respect the mix up. Uh, yeah, because. Nice just. Well, he's kind of just been tournament winnering, fairing, and that's kind of it. Whereas it would help to just have the op you know, the threat of a grounded option, so that Tanky doesn't just like call out a jump from ledge every time. Okay, that was a nice down air. Managed to outspace Tanky quite well. Tanky just waiting for him to land. He's just doing F smashes. It's a bit, you know, I think he. Could stand to maybe do an up throw or something and then try and get a juggle, but it's not, you know, he's not being getting tiny punishes, it's just, ugh, I don't know, it could be better. The lead from the first slot pretty much still where it was. So. Yeah. It's like a good ledge play by Harley and he's getting a big lead in this. Uh, yeah, he's using it better than he was before. He's been much better, at, well, I think the stage has helped him a lot in that he's been able to keep him cornered towards the ledge a lot more, and the platforms have been helping him out in the punish game. Okay. Hylian missing his tether. I think he was slightly too low anyway. So. More interesting just trying to approach with a wave land off there. Uh, yeah. Just trying to trick out Tanky's movement, catching bad yeah. guys and stashing him He did a pretty good option to avoid getting punished for it as well. Grab the ledge. Very nice. That was really pretty good timing. timing. Still pretty much got the same lead from the start of the game. And Joe here. Stuck on the top platform here. Tanky forcing him off. So far this has been good like uh, positioning pressure from Tanky. Okay. That wall jump seemed unnecessary. Captain Blowjob, defeater of Zola on the stream against Prof next. At least according to the F5 pool sheets, no, F4 pool sheets. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it actually happened or not, but it says so online, so. Okay, nice F tilt. Yeah. F smash on the roll didn't quite space it, stayed in place for a Yeah, the wave I, I would rather Hanian committed to sort of turtling in the corner instead of going in with that dash attack, that wasn't so good. I think he's wary of the full hops tank he's shown that he's willing to use. Yeah. But they, uh, and Tanky repeated missed hack stashes or ledge stashes though. It was a bit unfortunate.